Thanks for joining us in this video from Irwindale Public Library, where we will do four magnet experiments, and here are our list of supplies for today. If you're in the program, we will give these all to you. First, let's do step one and step two seen here. Measure and cut 12 inches of string. Then take your donut magnet and double knot it to one end of the string. Next, we'll make a magnet wand by hot gluing a small magnet to a popsicle stick and then we'll set this aside. Grab six wooden dowels and some clay. Form a triangle with three dowels. Connect the sides using our modeling clay and make sure they are secure. Then we're going to connect two dowels to each other at the top and then connect them to the bottom on the base. Take your last dowel and tie the donut magnet to the end of it. Then connect the dowel to the clay at the top and then to the bottom. Make sure everything is securely connected. Your donut magnet needs to be hanging about two inches above the base. Let's do our first experiment. You will need one rectangular magnet. Place the magnet underneath our donut magnet and move it around. Try different directions and different patterns and watch how our donut magnet follows this magnet. For our second experiment, you will need three magnets. Put the magnets under the three rods and make sure you keep them centered under each rod. Pull the donut magnet back and let it go. Watch as the magnet is pulled between each of the three magnets. Move the magnets closer or farther, maintaining the triangle shape and again pull and let go. Here's what you will need for our third experiment. Hold the magnetic wand near the donut magnet so you feel that magnetic force but so they also don't attach and move your wand around and watch how you can control the magnet. Try this with your rectangular magnet for a stronger reaction. And for our last experiment today, you will need two rectangular magnets. Connect them side by side to each other. Place them under the donut magnet. Pull the donut magnet back and watch as the magnet responds to the tension beneath it. Thanks for watching.